Welcome to the Wheelhouse, I'm Gilles Gallant. Every sports fan has that one team they just hate. Thinking about this team succeeding makes you want to hop in the old DeLorean, go back in time, and break the star player's ankles. Or punch Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd in the face for making me always think a time machine is a crappy 80s sports car. These teams make my blood boil, my hair recede, and my back knee flare up. So this week I wanted to focus on the four teams that will not let me enjoy one sports season without giving me long-term health problems. Starting with the NBA, my pick immediately goes to the San Antonio Spurs. If you've watched any Spurs game since 2003, you've seen them all. Tim Duncan dominating the front court and Manu Ginobili flopping around the court like he was just tasered. Although they've won four championships since 1999, not one player on their team has had a 40-inch vertical or is what you would call a prototypical athlete. Is somebody calling for Matt Bonner? Why do you think everybody watched the Miami Heat this year? Because we want to see highlight dunks and alley-oops. Not to be bored to tears while I'm watching Say Yes to the Dress on TLC with my girlfriend. Sorry, hon, I didn't mean that. You're still making me suffer, right? Over to baseball, this pick is an easy one, and anybody who's watching this probably feels the same way. The New York Yankees. They're like that guy on Price is Right who bets $1 above you. You just want them to lose at Plinko and hurry up and go back to the stupid university they came from. Any team that is willing and allowed to shell out over $300 million in an offseason to free agents should be outlawed. That's why baseball needs a salary cap, but that's a topic for another day. Look, I'm a Blue Jays fan, and it doesn't help watching a 500 ball club try to take down the evil empire, because it's depressing come every April. To the gridiron, this team made the Super Bowl last year, and by most reports, it has a great chance of doing it again. Ugh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know when you watch a team you love or a team that you're betting on, you think, ah, they got this in the bag, or I'll just change the channel. That's when the team like a Steelers will just ruin your Sundays. They're like that rash you got last week that just refuses to go away. Teams, every time they face them, make the same mistake. They don't cover the wide receivers, and they let Ben Roethlisberger get out of the pocket, which is why the teams that have had success against them get Ben in a tight space and make him make some bad decisions. Does a bathroom at a college party ring any bells? I'm just kidding, but it always seems like the Steelers win when it matters the most. I guess it's the ultimate compliment. But I'm spiteful, so anybody who's in the black and yellow, here's torn ACLs to you. On the ice, it's the New Jersey Devils. This team single-handedly murdered hockey for me. Oh wait, we can't score? Well, let's just ruin it for everybody. Unfortunately, though, this is another team I need to give credit to. Since Martin Brodeur took over in 1995, the Devils have won their division nine times and have taken home three Stanley Cups. But doesn't anybody else wish they could remove those playoff runs from their memory? Might as well be watching women's soccer with all those 2-1 final scores. It's pretty bad when ESPN thought about doing a documentary about your system, but opted against it because they realized it would be just as boring as it was in real life. So now we'll watch this Kovalchuk mess unfold, and hopefully watch a goaltending legend retire. Unless he has the same advisors as Brett Favre. In case you haven't noticed, all of these teams have winning track records. I guess that's the source of my hate. It really is envy. Why can't any of my favorite teams have those one-of-a-kind superstars that never get hurt, or those endless payrolls that make Warren Buffett take notice? I guess that's what makes sports so great, is I can justifiably manufacture hate for something in reality that doesn't really affect my day-to-day -day life. Thanks for checking out The Wheelhouse, and hit me up on Twitter at TV Wheelhouse and let me know the teams that you hate, or if you want to hate on me, you could do that too. If you want to tell me the audio sucks, wow, congratulations, you're a certified audio engineer. But in all seriousness, suggestions are good, and we'll be all set up in a few weeks. Till then, from one hater to another, have a great weekend.